Our youth is experiencing serious problems like uh, prostitution, teen pregnancies, and addition to alcohol. A minute in on low top, but back on farm international or co shop or co mill. If Bell Lebu and it's over there on Luman Ru. Light up, light up, light it up. This is we're going to come back again with Diedrich and Carl and YCLC and Heat after we do the anointing prayer. And when we come back the next time, I want you to light it up. You got to get up with these young people and begin to dance with them. I want you to show us that you can dance. I know you're going to do it. And if you don't do it, I'll be up here dancing by myself. But we can't have that. So when we come back at the end of the anointing prayer, let's light it up. Hey, Luke, you're here. You be ready. I know you're going to get on the stage and you're going to show them how to light it up. Is that right? Light it up, light it up, light it up. Yeah. The second Corinthians, the third chapter, the 17th verse, reads, The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We must be free today. If we're going to have this revival. Yes, yes. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to lift your hands, everybody. Yes. Close your eyes. Trust the Lord. Don't trust me. Trust the Lord. Just lift your hands. Close your eyes. Trust the Lord, but repeat after me. Lord, Lord send us a revival. Send us a revival. Lord, Lord. Lord. send us a revival. Him. 
He would come and he would visit my parents. Both of my parents were preachers. But my father was a pastor. He would often eat in our home. He was young, tall, lean. And he was dead on target with his intelligence. I admired that. And that next year at the age five was my first call from God to preach. I paid attention to him until he died early in life. And then Reverend Smith, Pastor Smith raised her hand. Her uncle Jano, in the latter part of his life, used to call me every month or so just to say, Rouse, I see the Lord in you, and I will be praying for you. And I know that her uncle prayed for me to the day he died. And here it is, not knowing who she was, God would send her to sit by me today because the message that I want to give to bring this dynamic preacher up who I want all of America, all of the world to hear because I know the Lord is upon him to unite us together. The Lord you mean, is upon him to unite us together. The Spirit of the Lord through him has said to me that ACLC it's more than what we've been saying it was for 22 years. The American Clergy Leadership Conference with the Spirit of the Lord and Dr. Young is saying to all of us, recognize one another. Recognize the ultimate concern of each other. Especially those of us who are Christians. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, recognize the ultimate concern in all of us is God's broken heart. God's broken heart from what we have done from the beginning of the fall and we are still as fallen people today. Separated and divided. All oh, that Bishop Kennedy talked about having to come out of retirement because of the brokenness that's in the world, because of the brokenness of the heart of God. But this man says to us, if we pray together, if we live together, we will discover the true life, the true love, and the true lineage. And when we discover that together and respect one another, then, brothers and sisters, watch what will happen. There will be a unity among us. The Christian mission and the validity of the unification movement, we will come together and not talk around one another, not talk about one another, not try to separate from one another, but we will see all of God's children, the blessed light skin and the sacred dark skin, all of us coming together and saying to everybody, come on and reconcile. Come on and be restored. And the way to get there is to have our hearts, our minds, in our souls, revived under the Spirit of the Lord. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. If you are ready, yes. then to your feet and receive the Spirit of the Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to join you today in this ACNC and YCNC Pastors Forum and Unity Revival. The subject of revival is something I have been thinking of 
and he are talking about for some time now, since coming to America a little over two years ago. I think this is one of the most important topics since I came to America. I became more closely involved with HCMC and I felt immediately a great inspiration from heaven how important Christianity is and how the providence is in need of awakening this rather sleeping giant. To be frank with you, not only Christianity but also most of the religions are actually sleeping. When I see Korean you know, Christianity and other religions really rapidly declining. Yeah. So we, we fell asleep at the, uh, at the hell and allowed the materialistic culture to shift away at our families, our churches, and our <coughs> communities. If we look around us, we see a not only a rising family breakdown, an increasing in divorce and drug abuse, we also see sharp decline in religious affiliation, especially in the Christian world. America between 2009 and 2019, Christianity lost 12 percent of its believers both Protestant and Catholics, and the numbers keeping dropping. Less people identify themselves as a Christian, and even less people come to the church to worship on a regular basis. The situation even more serious with young people who are leaving the churches. I am Korean. I am very, really, very much concerned about the, the reality of the Christianity in Korea. In 1992, at the time, really peak time, really our Christian movement really developing so fast. You know, 12 million people, many people are saying that 12 million people are, you know, Christian among the, among the 50 million people. But just two years ago, according to Korean about their official data, do you understand that? Now, Christianity, less than 6 million people. Whoa. How much dropping now? This is a very, very serious issue. Many Christian leaders in Korea also very much collapsed and then corrupted and then have a problem with the fornication. Our youth is experiencing serious problems like uh, prostitution, teen pregnancies, and addition to alcohol and drugs and tobacco, we haven't found any solution to these problems. <laughs> if we look at Christian pastors who divorce away among the church leaders who are supposed to set good example is offer, offer 50%. Mm. In this that Christian leaders are not showing a good model to lead our society and the nation. We have become the same as the secular society around us. And therefore, it is challenging to attract new and young people. When I look at this situation and when I see the division and interdenomination fighting within, within Christianity, I see that it is hard to find the Holy Spirit of God in the church anymore. How then can we revive American Christianity so it can flourish away? Mm -hmm. First, first, we need we need a great spiritual awakening movement. Yes. Yes. Starting with the individual pastors and spreading to uh, all churches and congregations. What must do we do so such a great spiritual awakening can occur? We need to understand what we had and what we lost. How did the uh, early uh, pilgrim fathers of settled Christianity, when they first arrived, they took God first. Mm -hmm. They built churches and schools 
and lead her, live by the word of God. They give the first of their harvest as an offering to God and let God be the center of their lives. We lost the spirit of the early days of our country when God was first and foremost. Therefore, we must return to the early Christian spirit. We moved away from God as our first love. So how can we find our lost love again? There's only one way, what I feel, when I pray and pray and pray and pray. I visited so many, you know, uh, the mega churches in America, met the many leaders, Christian leaders, many mega church leaders, they're struggling and struggling, especially uh, because of the COVID-19 issue. And they're really dropping the, the membership so much, you know. So I feel that I pray about that. Whenever I get together with the ancient members, I feel that how to solve this issue. Then I realized that I received strong inspiration from heaven that this is the only one way. We need to repent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no way to find our lost first love without sincere repentance. Through repentance, we can bring about truly spiritual great awakening within Christianity. What was the first message Jesus spoke to the Jewish people? It was his first word. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist's message was also repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In order to return to God and recover the lost first love of God, the first thing we must do is repent. Yes. Unless there is a true repentance and honest reflection on the reality of today's Christianity, we may not be able to avoid God's judgment. How was Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed? How did Rome fall? None of them was ruined by politics. They were consumed by their own obscenity and corruption. Obscenity, fornication, the culture of the fornication. Satan mean culture is the fornication. Culture of the fornication occupied everywhere. What should we repent for? We must repent for what we have lost. Specifically, we should repent for having lost the commandment that Jesus gave us. The first commandment Jesus gave in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 38. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all
because of my money. If you put your order more than God, you will perish someday because of the, your that kind of the order. My brother says, why did I cheat? When you go to church, I really scare you myself. When you go to church, when you listening past the song, when you see the congregation, can you feel God is almighty to a church of God? If you show God is a living God, God is almighty to a church, every young people, anyone will come and worship and then hallelujah and then pray to God. Now this is a common reality. We do not know how to show God. We lost the Lord. Mm. And in Romans chapter 2, Paul said, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm. Then you will be able to test and approve what God will is. His good and pleasing and perfect will. But play. Our churches and members are following the word rather than God and teaching of the Bible. Christianity which should be leading the world is imitating the world instead. How God comes to the church like this? We are spiritual leaders. We are the one who leading the young people. We are the one who leading the society. We are the one who leading the society the nation. That's right. We are spiritual leaders. However, opposite situation, we are the one who following the secular world. Mm. Mm. We really have to really repent. Therefore, we must begin the movement to recover God. We need to start a movement that put God first. That's right. Like our ancestors in the early days, we must expand a movement of loving God first more than anything else. That's right. Solution is what? Solution is what? You need to put God as a top priority more than anything else. Why we lost to God? We put money first. We put our own apostles first. Do we put our position first? We put our own better first. God is even the second. We really need to repent. As I be, I am the minister. Really, do I show God is a living God to my congregation or not? My brothers and sisters. The second problem in Christianity is that we are not keeping the second commandment that Jesus gave us. The second commandment is Matthew 22, 39 says, Love your neighbors and yourself. Mm -hmm. But even though we say that we all love the Lord, we have different doctrines, divisions are increasing, and there are over 400, 400 separate Christian denominations. More than that, how many are still being discriminated against because of different ways and nationalities? How many of us are still discriminating our brothers and sisters and not seeing them as God's children equal to us? Surely we don't really follow the commandment to love one another, do we? Therefore, we <coughs> must repent. We need to come together again, repent. We need to connect as the interreligious, interdenominational movement beyond our denominations and religious background and become one as brothers and sisters on the one God. We are one family of God. God does not care your nationality. Yeah. God does not care what kind of racism do you have. God does not care about your intellect or no intellect. 
God turned his eyes he turned his child of us <coughs> you are my child God is our parents do you think God only loves Christianity do you think God only loves Buddhism God Something more is needed 
We need to find this new wine and make ourselves into new wine skins. Reverence from the moon, Father Moon met Jesus at the age of 16 while he was in order and keep prayer. Jesus then revealed to him that the messianic mission had yet to be completed. Through their first encounter and continued to, uh, the period of spiritual searching, a new world of the truth was revealed that up for the solution to the problems of the present generation. Father Moon received from Jesus additional revelation that Jesus could not reveal why he was on the earth. That's why he said, I will come again. I will come again. These new understanding were compiled in the expression of divine principle. I believe that you know to resolve this issue of the world and all religions today, and in order to re- you know to really revive Christianity, we need to study the divine principle, the new truth that Jesus gave to the Father Moon so we can renew American Christianity. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, to save America, we need to study the word of the Bible and then follow the to divine principles so that we can become better disciples that God can walk in. Yes. These days, Asia is working to build a movement of the true disciples. I would like to encourage each of you to study the principle Father Moon received from Jesus and God. Recently, many Asian ministers, those who are living in you know, Clifton area, New Jersey and New York area, and I really met them one by one. I told them, you know, you join many times our Asian activity, you know, uh, the conference and go to the Korea to meet Father Moon and Mother Moon. But how much really do you understand Father Moon's of the, you know, uh, you know uh, teaching and guidance? Actually, based on Bible, you know, uh, based on Bible, yes. he really got a lot of lesson from Jesus. And when you study the Arabic divine principle, you understand what Jesus wanted to say. And you, you, you can learn a lot actually. I believe that we will be able to overcome our problems today by studying the ideal world God uh, had envisioned when He created us, human beings. When, when, or what went wrong, how we can fix it by our convictions and actions and what Jesus would have wanted to accomplish if we had been alive longer. This may seem unrelated. But if we understand the fundamental problem between God and humanity, we can really help bring God's children back to His person. Let us become true disciples of Jesus, who embody His ideal and model, His teaching, and also a great revival movement throughout the United States. Amen. Amen. As a co-chair of the NCLC, I initiated a movement to raise 12 such disciples. Following the path of Jesus too, the next step is to raise 70 disciples. Yes. And then reach 120 disciples. If through ACIC we can fulfill this uh, trajectory well, if the number of the uh, true disciples reach 12, then, then 122 multiplies to 1,200, and then 12,000, and finally, if we can achieve the number of the resurrection, 144,000, as mentioned in the book of Revelation, we will see an amazing transformation taking place in America Christianity. I can see it in my mind already. Father yeah. said that if 144,000 people in the United States armed themselves with a divine principle and study again the Bible, and spread this word throughout America, it would, un- it would undoubtedly lead to a great revival, spreading from America to the rest of the world. So I call on you to please join this movement. Let us become true disciples of Jesus 
and truly save America. Yeah. I can see now in Clinton area, I really you know, uh, meet each one of the ACS ministers. And then they are really, this is Father's recommendation, please, you need to judge after you study yeah. you know, the exposition of the divine principle. What is really Jesus' true identity? What he really want to say? Even though he could not say many things, that's why he promised to come again. And he want to reveal how to top secret. And then he clearly said that for the purpose of the, our life and you know, the meaning of the Jesus' true crucifixion, many kind of things. And then some of the Christian ministers, they joined in the uh, uh, exposure of divine education one on one. They really cry and cry and repent. Many kinds of spiritual phenomena appear now. Let us bring God back to our churches, back to our communities, and back to our nation. Let us show our people that God is alive and walking with us as before. Let us create Christian movement where countless young people come and experience real resurrection. Yeah. Let us make the body of Christ, the church, be the place where God really lives and works. Amen. 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 Amen.